Alleged child abuse on a school bus. New tonight, our first look at the encounter that brought charges between a bus attendant and a child with special needs. Good evening, I'm Jamison Ewell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Polk County deputies just releasing video that they say shows a bus attendant slapping a child with special needs. It was six ABC Action News reporter Andrea Line giving us a look at the encounter and reaction from parents. And we want to warn you, it could be hard for some of you to watch. Andrea. Absolutely. Brenda Nelson used to help disabled students get to and from this school behind me. Then a witness came forward saying that they saw her hitting a special needs student. Take a look at what detectives found in this video. Get in there, now. Yelling quickly turns to hitting. Yeah, Stop it. At one point, you can even see Brendan Nelson reach over the victim, grab her hair, and shake her head violently. They love everybody. And I don't see why anyone would want to hit one of them. Nelson, now charged with child abuse, doesn't hit the young girl once or even twice. Reports show the 65-year-old bus attendant slapped her at least four times. The kids don't really understand. Parents at Doris A. Sanders say disturbing doesn't even cover it. Grow up. These are kids that need help. These are kids that don't understand. But they are smarter than you think they are. They can't tell people what people do to them. Investigators question Brenda Nelson, but she claims she doesn't remember. Telling detectives, I must have just lost it. I don't remember doing that. I would never hit one of those kids. These kids here are wonderful. The video tells a different story. Investigators say Nelson could have easily caused permanent damage. They don't get respect. They don't get what they need from adults sometimes, and they just take advantage, take advantage of their disability and think they can just do whatever to them. You wouldn't want your own child hurt. Nelson has actually worked as a bus attendant for Polk County School Board since the early 1980s. They say that this hasn't happened before with her, but since then she has been fired. Live in Polk County, Andre Lyon, ABC Action News.